Hello everyone, I am excited to bring you this Jarvis AI video about how to use recipes. I know some of my food blogger friends were a little disappointed that these weren't actual recipe posts to work with, but the good news is you can create a recipe, it's just like a template or an outline, you can create a recipe to use for your recipe posts. Today we're gonna to dive in and use a recipe that's already created, and I'm gonna give you a full disclosure. I've only used this one time so far. I wrote one blog post, it was 1300 words, and it only took me about 20 minutes. The second attempt, which is right now, is, well, I started seven minutes ago, I messed a bunch of the recordings up. Anyway, uh, the second attempt that I'm going to start right now is completely fresh. I have no idea in mind, I haven't used this except for once, so I feel like it's gonna be similar to your experience, hopefully. So you're gonna log into Jarvis AI, click on Recipes, and then click Open Recipe. This recipe was created by James Morgan. He is awesome with Jarvis and has created lots of resources for us to use. This one is by far my favorite. I'm so excited. He says you can whip together a quick blog post in five minutes using this Jarvis recipe. I clicked on this just to prove James wrong. I was like, no way, you can't create a blog post in five minutes. And then I watched him do it. So I'm not putting together a blog post in five minutes. That's definitely not my style, but I love that it's possible. There's so many things that are possible with Jarvis that I never even imagined. So once you pull up the recipe, I want you to scroll to the bottom and watch the video that teaches you how to use it. It's five minutes, all right? The person who created the recipe knows the recipe best, so learning from them by watching their video is going to give you the best results. I'm going to show you an attempt uh, that I'm going to make to use this recipe. You're going to click run after you watch the tutorial video that was created by James. This step that we're doing right here is actually after you've already done your keyword research. You already have your topic, you have your keywords, all of that, all right? But for me, I'm doing this on the fly. I don't have a topic in mind yet. I'm gonna come up with one and just kind of show you how I'm doing it as I'm doing it in real time. The first line says, write a brief for, and then we have to pick our topic. Let's do, what is guided meditation? I have a blog that talks about guided meditation and I'm gonna see what Jarvis can come up with. Hit Control Shift Enter, or if you're on a Mac, Command Shift Return, I believe, and see what happens. If you don't mind the line being removed after the command is completed, you can just hit Control Enter or Command Return. But if Jarvis doesn't give me what I want, I don't wanna to have to remember what the command was. So I always use that Shift key. This is the article brief, which is always difficult for me to write. I don't know why, but it is. So it says, write an article about what guided meditation is and how it differs from regular meditation. Hmm, I wasn't going there with that, but for the purpose of this post, let's do it. Write blog title ideas. Control Shift Enter. All right, I like these titles, but if I'm going to go the way of comparing, I don't want to do that. So, write blog post title ideas about comparing guided meditation to regular meditation. I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, the same but different. A comparison of guided meditation versus regular meditation. Oh yeah, I love it. That's my title. We're gonna H1 that bad boy and get rid of that mess. And then write an introduction. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, we're gonna keep that. Guided meditation is a type of meditation that uses someone else to guide the meditator. That's true. All right, so remember, always, always, always fact check. So if you don't know anything about your topic or your knowledge is limited, you wanna make sure you Google everything. So if you're writing a post about guided meditation and you don't know a lot about it, you need to figure out, is it really a type of meditation that uses someone else to guide them? 
The next step is to have Jarvis write a blog post outline. I'm impressed, y'all. Like, I, I'm, this is solid. This is, this is solid. And this didn't end, so this didn't end with a period, so I can go ahead and control J or command J that to get more info, but I'm just trying to move through these steps so I don't make this video too long. What I do next is I remove all of the numbers, and then here it says write about outline item one. What I like to do is copy this, and I say what I like to do, like I do this all the time. I just, when I was doing the first blog post, this is what I found was easy for me because I have a lot of headings in my posts. All right, so I am going to copy and paste, whoopsie, I'm going to copy and paste this into every subheading before I turn it into a subheading because next I need to copy and paste what I want Jarvis to do. So you're copying and pasting your subheadings into the command that says write about. Sometimes you do need to be more specific with Jarvis than you need to be with your headings. For example, Jarvis might, because of the context and the look back and all of this, he might be able to tell me why you may want to use a guide, but I'm gonna say for guided meditation Oh wait, use a guide to meditate. Let's do it that way. Guide to meditate. I'm gonna do it that way just because I feel more comfortable with that subheading. Next, you're going to turn these into H2s. Remember that Jarvis has expanded look back, so he can see back two to 3,000 characters. If that's a good thing, then go ahead and do your thing and write. If you feel like Jarvis might get confused, or if Jarvis starts repeating himself, then you're going to want to do the three asterisks. This makes him forget everything above. I like to do it just because whenever he does repeat himself, it wastes my time, even if it's just a few seconds. So I'm just kind of in the habit of doing each heading on its own, and I like how that works. Some people want context from the previous headings, or they want Jarvis to look back. That's okay, too. We're just going to do it the way that I find works for me. Write about what is guided meditation and how does it differ from regular meditation. Control shift enter or command shift return. I feel like this needs to be a little bit longer, and that's whenever you hit control J or command J. What I like to do whenever I'm working in the long form in Jarvis, I like to let him keep writing until he either stops making sense or goes to a different topic or whatever. I like getting as much info from Jarvis as I can. This is, what is different? This is a whole other subheading and it's kind of repeating it, but I wanna see what else he has to say about this. Some of this isn't the best, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through Content Improver at the end, but just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next heading. I like this, and another thing I like to do is use Jarvis to create bullet points. I don't command him, you know, Jarvis, create bullet points. I will say, you know, benefits of guided meditation and then I'll create a bullet point, and then I will hit Command J and see if he sticks with it. Nope, but that's still good info. Pull that down. A lot of times Jarvis will give me stuff that isn't exactly what I wanted in that moment or in that spot, <laughs> but it's really good info, so I'll just pull that and put it under a different subheading. That's not a very great bullet point, but whatever. Hmm inside the box slash outside the box. That's interesting. These could definitely use some improvement, but it's probably something I did. As you all know, I'm still healing and not working at 100%, so we're just going to go with that because it seems good to me. Now let's pretend that we have filled all of these subheadings out. Next, we're going to work on a blog post conclusion. Take the subheadings from above, and paste them in. Mm, 
I don't want to use those. Let's see. Benefits, how to prepare. That's not the conclusion I was really going for, but I like this. I want to leave you with some thoughts on how to choose the best guide for your desired outcome, tips on how to make yada, yada, yada. So I like, I like the whole, I want to leave you with some thoughts. So this isn't how I'll leave it because it doesn't make sense for my flow, but I do like that, so I'm going to keep it. It was that simple to create a blog post. Like, no, it wasn't five minutes, but I don't even know how to use the recipe yet, right? I'm just learning, just like you are. So to be able to do that in 10 minutes, what in the world? Like, that's just, it's awesome, awesome. So I'm really excited to learn more about the recipes, to try more. I'm going to go through and try them all, and I'll do videos on the ones that I really love. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them below. Make sure that you check out JarvisResources.com and head over to the subreddit. It's reddit forward slash r forward slash Jarvis Resources. There's tons of tutorials, and like I said, that big list of recipes is there too, so you can find exactly what you're looking for right away without having to search through everything. Keep an eye out for my future videos. I'm going to be working on a ton of them and I'm really excited to keep learning about Jarvis and teaching you about Jarvis along my journey.